first make a torus adjust the radius and segments to whatever you like uh, scale it on the z-axis to get a nice ring like shape once you're happy with that apply a subdivision surface modifier and shade the object smooth Next, select the inner edge loops and scale them up, and make sure you have proportional editing turned on. Now we're done with the modeling part. Now, select the upper, middle, and lower edge loops and mark them as a seam. Make a plane below the ring so you can see the shaders correctly in the next part. Also, add an HDRI so you get those nice reflections. Now it's time for texturing. Make a new material and import the image that I have linked in the description below. Give the ring a nice yellowish color and increase the metallic slider. Add a color ramp and plug the image into the color ramp. Now make a mix shader and plug the BSDF into the mix shader. Adjust the color ramp so the inscription is yellow and everything else is black. Now open the UV editor, select all the vertices on the ring and click U unwrap. Now, in the UV editor, adjust these squares just like I do. Now, plug the color ramp into the mix shader. Adjust the factor so that it blends in. Now, to make the inscription glow, make a duplicate of the image texture and plug it into a color ramp. Give it a bright yellow color. Adjust so you can only see the inscription and plug that into an emission shader. Make another mix shader and plug the previous mix shader and the emission shader into it. This strength slider will control how much you want it to glow and you can animate it. And that's pretty much it. You can now add a floor texture and make a render or you can do whatever you want with it. Maybe take it up to Mordor. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video and I'll see you next time. Peace out.